friends and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Today, we're going to be trying out some popular beauty products that a lot of people have been talking about. This is the Flower Jelly Lipstick and it got really popular after it was featured on BuzzFeed and it was like impossible to get our hands on it. But we finally got it thanks to Afrof. So Afrof is this like service where you can get people to buy things from overseas that aren't available in your home country. This is the packaging. It's got a little mirror here. Are you ready for this? Packaging itself doesn't feel great. It feels very light and uh, not very expensive material. Apparently, there's supposed to be a colour and it changes colour according to the warmth of your skin. Oh, it's very moisturising. I was actually expecting it to feel like plastic because it looks very plasticky and smells very plasticky as well. You can see on my finger, that's a very bright pink. Oh, it's so soft. It changes colour really fast. Another thing I'm wondering is also, like, because there's this beautiful flower right there, right? What happens when it reaches the flower, like, do you start like plucking leaves off your lips? Or like, is it still usable? Now I'm going to dissect this lipstick. Ooh, it's very sore. It really does feel like jelly when you cut it. Eh? Why is it so hard? Can you hear that? The flower actually feels really hard. So I think once you're, you finish and it reaches around there, you can't use this anymore. Even though it looks like a full lipstick, really, you're only getting about this much product. So now that I look at my lips, right, the colour has changed, which is fine. Except that one side is like darker than the other side. That is unacceptable, especially if I'm not going to be checking my lips all day long. So I would give this like a 4 out of 10, like it's gorgeous, but not as a lipstick, maybe as a display piece. We have seen lipsticks, lip gloss, lip tints, lip balms, etc, etc. But have we ever seen lip powder? I don't think so! So this is from Rire, it's from Korea. It's a lip powder and it's supposed to be as pigmented as lipstick, as smooth as lip gloss, as long-lasting as lip tint and as moisturising as lip balm. It looks like this. So it's really a powder. Ooh! So once you touch it, it kind of like melts a bit. So when you put it on your skin, it kind of goes really quickly from powder to cream and it's actually quite cooling, like it feels wet. Let's see how well this stays. Not at all. And it applies really like a lip cream. And it's very, very pigmented. My lips feel like powder. What? My lips feel completely dry. Okay, this is very weird. Because my lip itself, it feels wet, right? But when I press it together, it feels dry. My brain is truly exploding right now. I would give this a 9 out of 10 because it does everything that it says it will do. Uh, only thing is that it's not super long lasting, like it comes off so it can get maybe like a little bit patchy. Kylie Jenner has her own cosmetics line and her lipsticks are incredibly popular, so much so that they're almost always sold out. So thanks to Shop and Box, I got their Kylie Matte lipstick. So Shop and Box is basically a service that connects you to people overseas to help you get stuff that isn't available in your home country. They sent me this really crazy looking colour. I love this packaging, like I think it's so sexy. So it feels very much like a lot of matte lipsticks in that it's quite, it's got this like velvety, satiny kind of feel. And when you put it on, it feels like a powder but like a liquid powder. This smells very like butterscotch caramel or something. This isn't like the best applicator for like a dark colour because it's kind of tough to get the edges. Right now my lips kind of feel like they've been wrapped. So compared to other matte liquid lipsticks, it doesn't feel like super drying or like super moisturising. It actually feels just nice. Like I quite like this. I think it makes me feel cool. I don't know whether I bought into the whole Kylie Jenner thing. Maybe that's why. A little bit of me was kind of like, I wonder if it's crap, you know, because it's like, it's all just hype and everything. But I think it's a pretty decent product. In terms of staying power, it does transfer, it does flake off, so it might get very patchy or like a lot of lines throughout the day. I think I would give this maybe like a 7.5 out of 10. Mirror nails or chrome nails are quite the trend these days. So all you need to do to create this effect is to take this powder and buff it into your nail. Take a tiny amount of the powder and just kind of like buff it into your nail. Oh, as you can see, the shine is really starting to come out. Wow, this is really fast and it looks so good. I've seen it in videos but to see it in front of you is pretty cool. Like, I can actually see my face in my mirror right now. It's so cool. I can see my mouth moving, you know. I would give this like a 10 out of 10 because it's so easy to do. All you need to do is like seal it with a top coat and you're good to go. This is a pore remodeling mask from Korea, also from Airfrof. I saw some videos of it and it looks like super cool. Like it really pulled up all the white hits and the black hits. Like 
It comes with 10 sets of these, and it also comes with this. First thing I'm going to do is put this strip on my nose. So I'm assuming that this helps to soften my blackheads. So leave it for 10 to 15 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes. My whiteheads and blackheads, I am hoping, are prepped to be pulled out. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take this pore mask. Okay, I saw that they put like quite a thick-ish amount. So now I have to leave it for another 10-15 minutes for it to dry before I pull them all out. Ow, ow, ow. It didn't take off any more than a regular pop pack would and my nose also feels like it got a little bit stripped off like a regular pop pack. Another thing was like I might have put too much so it had kind of like dripped down so some parts were very thin and some parts were very thick so some parts were like too dry, some parts were just nice and some parts were still wet. Maybe it's me, maybe it's just yeah and now my nose very itchy, itchy and dry. I think maybe I'll give this a 6 out of 10 because it's not anything more than a regular pop pack like it's not more gentle or anything and it didn't seem to remove any extra. It's also like more steps and like longer time. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. We hope you liked it. If you want to find out more about the products, like how much they cost, where to get them from, go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page and look for the Featured Products album. All the information is in there. And yes, have you downloaded the Quick Network app? Because if you haven't, you really should. Because you can watch the videos one month before they go on YouTube. Thank you to all those who have downloaded the app. In the meantime, you guys, all take care of yourself, okay? And go be beautiful.